We originally created the ActiveState platform to make it easier for us to automate the building of our Active Python, Active Perl, and Active Tickle distributions, but you can use it to automatically build any Perl environment you want from source. Let me show you how. So I'm already logged into the platform. I'm on my dashboard, and you can see I have a number of different environments I've already built. But for this demo, we're going to start from scratch. So I'll just click Set Up a New Runtime. And we can see that we have access to Python, Perl, and Tickle because modern applications are built with more than one language. Today, we're just interested in using Perl. And you can see that we provide both ready-to-use and custom versions. Our ready-to-use ones come with our Active Perl pre-built distributions. But today, I'm going to show you how to build a custom environment, also called a custom runtime. I need to give this a name. I'll just call it uh, something like Perl Demo. And we give you access to a number of different versions of Perl, uh, just in case you need to maintain older product. But right now, I'm just going to choose the most recent one. And we allow you to build it for both Linux and Windows currently. I'm just going to choose both of them. You can see there's a number of different versions of Linux and a number of different versions of each specific flavor as well. I'll just click the Create button. And there you have it. The Active State platform has built us sort of a framework Perl 528 for Linux and Windows and pulled in a few other dependencies that we'll need, including some OS-specific dependencies. And now all I really need to do is just add the dependencies for my project. I can go ahead and search for these one at a time and add them individually and choose which version I want. But usually it's much easier just to go ahead and import from a CPAN file that I've already copied. So I'll just paste that in here, click the import button, and you can see I immediately pull in all the dependencies in my CPAN file, and the platform tries to resolve each and every one of these dependencies. Now you can see the platform has come up against a conflict. It's telling me here that uh, Mojalicious Che, the one I've asked for, doesn't work with Mojalicious uh, less than or equal to 7.5. Uh, by the way, you can see that we support operators such as less than or equals. Uh, it's kind of unusual in the Perl world, which supports typically just greater than or equal, uh, but we support a wide range of operators. So in this case, it's recommending me to choose a version of Mojalicious greater than or equal to 7.5. I can go ahead and do that very easily. Just click the Change Version button. And now I can choose something later. Uh, maybe this was a typo. Maybe we meant 8.5, or I'll just choose something more recent, like 8.6. Now, as soon as I do that, you can see that my dependencies have all been resolved, a total of 77 of them. You can see highlighted in green here all of the dependencies the platform recognized as being necessary to pull in uh, based on my original dependencies that I've added. So now that I'm good, I can go ahead and click the Commit button. And we can either wait for an email to come in and tell us that the build is done, or we can interactively view it. You can see it started the build for Linux. And we're currently queuing up all of our dependencies to build. Now, this could take a while because what we're doing is building every single package from source. Uh, that means it's much more secure than just downloading and installing any kind of binary off of the net. Uh, it also means you have code provenance, you understand where every one of these uh, dependencies has come from. Now, all the dependencies we have in the ActiveState platform are pulled in from CPAN. Uh, they're done on a regular basis. Every 48 hours, they're updated, so you can always build with the latest version if that's important to you. And you can see how quick the build is going here. Most of these are fairly straightforward packages. They don't have uh, a lot of complexity to them, and we already have build formulas built into the platform to be able to build these on the fly for you, including any uh, associated C libraries as well that automatically be built be built for you. So here we have it. Again, you can download the tarball right here, 
or you can simply get our state tool just by copying this line and running it on your command line. And then to get the runtime installed into a virtual environment, just copy and paste this and you'll get your Perl demo environment installed automatically for you into a virtual environment ready to go.